everyone's just the same as me and could probably relate to me and everyone's had their heart broken and everyone feels um, sassy and everyone's very funny. Leather jackets and make prints and dance around in clothes a bit sometimes. So, yeah, I was at uni and I needed something to do for my first assignment, so I painted on an old leather jacket because I started buying leather jackets from charity shops that were a bit too big for me, so I just had to use them somehow. I started doing the prints from being dumped. So I was making prints and didn't have a background for them and they looked a bit boring. So um, I ended up buying uh, an old Playboy magazine from eBay and just like cutting it up. And yeah, so I just saw old glamour photos and porny images from anywhere from old actual magazines or just the internet, so. I went from making prints to painting clothes um, just through meeting lots of different stylists and making friends on shoots and they saw my leather jackets that I'd painted and I was wearing. People were just asking to use them for editorials and then people asking to buy them and it's kind of just spiralled out of control a little bit. I think everyone who's creative knows this but like it's hard to keep yourself constantly inspired. When I've got no ideas, I think, well, what would Bowie do? And then that ended up being a jacket. The funniest one I've done is Sinner Sinner Chicken Dinner, because I painted that just after um, finding out that Liberty were gonna stop my jackets. When they dropped into Liberty, I went, I cut like the day after, and it was really, really, really weird watching the girls flock around the jackets. There's this one girl who was like, Mom, I won't buy anything else. Please, can I have this jacket? I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for uploading a photo of the jacket onto Instagram. And you can just connect with anybody way more easily than you would on Twitter or Facebook. Instagram is probably the biggest change to art and fashion. And I did my dissertation on it at uni. I did my dissertation on the Kardashians and Instagram and how it cha it's changed the art world. One of the first times I'd ever visited um, London, actually, and we went to um, a record shop and we went next door to Rocket and I bought a denim jacket and I felt like the coolest person. And it was so, I'd just never seen such a cool little shop full of vintage clothes before. So that's what started off not buying from High Street all the time and just looking at different places that I never necessarily seen in the shopping centre. So yeah, it was a nice day, it was good, nice memories of going to Rocket for the first time. <laughs>